Hi everyone, welcome to Carus House. Today we're going to be looking at the Jaguar hydraulic hose cutter and needle driver. Hi everyone, welcome back. The last tools I need to be able to do everything on my bike is these little beauties. I bought these from Amazon. And the hose cutter was about 10 pounds, I think, and the needle driver about 15 pounds or so. It's the only thing I've never done on my bike, and that is hydraulic brakes. So, um, ordered these, obviously from my build, if you're following my channel, I'll be doing my own brakes uh, this time, or trying, <laughs> and then taking it to the bike shop when I fail. So, um, we have the Sport hydraulic brake line cutter and the needle driver 2.0. So first of all, we're going to look at the sport hydraulic hose cutter. So um, we'll just open it up and have a little look. Okay, shake it out. Oh. Any instructions for me? Oh, there is. Fantastic. Oh, and there's a spare blade. Well, I like that. A spare super sharp blade, which I don't want to cut myself on. And some instructions. Well, wow. And you've got a step-by-step -step guide there. One, place it in. Two, slide it up. Three, it's chopped. And how to change the blade as well, which is quite handy. Um, and then how it all works. So let's have a look at the machine itself. Let's just get these out of the way. So this is the machine, Jaguar. Um, there's not much to it actually. Um, oh. oh, I see. So put the hose in there to the required length, push up on the bottom and it slices it it slices it off, Junk. just like that. That's um, pretty basic, isn't it? That's There's not much to that. It's got some uh, Allen key or hex wrench fittings there if you need to change the blade. What I'm gonna do is practice on the ends of uh, you know, because I think of my hydraulic cable is two meters. I think we're going to need a meter and a bit, so I'll just chop off a few mil at a time just to practice. But um, that is a very basic and simple tool. Put the hose in, slide the bottom up, chop it off. Wonderful. Well, that was worth a tenner. It's probably better than trying to do it with a Stanley knife anyway. So on to the next tool, the needle driver. Hydraulic hose barb press. It's got a pin and torx bits, which is really cool. Um, all right, let's have a look at this one. That one didn't shake out. Oh, I've got the instructions here. If I can get them out, they seem to be jammed for some reason. There's something else in there, but it's out now. Okay, so we've got uh, this, whatever it is in here. Ah. This is a T10 Torx bit for SRAM needles or traditional needles. A little uh, extra attachment there, which is cool. This is the device. And these are the instructions. So, needle driver. Ensure the hose has a flat surface. That's why we bought this cutter. Two, slide compression nut and compression bushing into hose, as shown. Okay. Three, open the hose channel by pushing on the yellow handle. Nice. Okay, so this is the tool. Um, that's the yellow handle. Okay, so we've got a cam kind of adjustment there. Yeah, cam lock to chomp on the hose and a screw thread 
to uh, raise it up, lock your hose in, I'm guessing, and screw the needle down. We've got some a zero and a four there. I'm not exactly sure what that's for at the moment, but I'm sure we will find out. Okay, that looks pretty straightforward. So hose in, clamp it, wind in the needle. Okay. All right, let's uh, carry on. Four, align the driver with the end of the needle, like so. There's that zero and four again. Okay, do not over tighten. Unclamp the hose. Six, remove your freshly prepared hose from the needle driver. Thanks very much. And we're away. What's this zero and four thing? I'm a bit confused if I missed it. I'm trying to read the instructions through the camera is quite hard. I'm just scanning. Okay, I've got it. It's in section three. Here it is, look. Select the appropriate side of the double bit screwdriver. One end features a 2.5 mil Torx bit for Avid and the other features a pin. Oh, so the one that's in there is Avid. So let's, let's, um, Wind this out. It does come out, it's magnetic. Not the easiest thing in the world to get out, but here it is. Okay, so this end is for normal. Uh, that end is for normal needles, and this end is for Avid, and this one is for SRAM. Okay, fantastic. So this is a magnetic attachment. There we go. Let it come back out. Here it is. Look, for Shimano systems, use the guide on the edge of the needle driver to set a four millimeter gap between the end of the hose and the bushing. Okay, I have got a Shimano system, so I should be using the four mil gap. I'm assuming you set it up to zero, and then you put your hose in up to the four mil line. Let's just say it's there for the sake of this video. And then crank it in. If anyone's ever used one of these before, please let me know. Um, those are the tools. I've always wanted to do my own hydraulic brakes and it looks like now I'll have the chance to do it. So what we'll do for some obscure reason, I'm going to weigh them, just uh, so you know how much they weigh. The needle driver is the heaviest tool, and that's going to weigh in at 110 grams. And the hydraulic hose cutter is just plastic. It ain't going to be very heavy. That's going to weigh in at 40 grams. 40 grams for that tool, 110 for this one. Hydraulic hose cutter, needle driver. Those two beauties are going to help me a lot. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave a like. Leave a comment as well for me. I'll answer them. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care. Bye.